What time is it? It's JRPG time. Back in the Scarlet Nexus for hopefully something that's not just trudging through uh, piles and piles of the same fodder enemies that I've been fighting the whole game. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we're close to a cutscene or a boss battle. <laughs> that's all I want. If there's any random bullshit enemies in my way, I hope that I could just run past them and not get locked in a stupid arena. A stupid arena that only existed. Good cutscene. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's there. It's been there the whole time. I haven't seen it in a while, so I can't really tell if it's gotten bigger. <laughs> Has it always been that big? Don't know. It's definitely expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. It's not my problem. 50 years is a long time. I don't expect to be alive in 50 years. <laughs> I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able I guess these people live a long, long time, though. <laughs> That's part of the- that was part of the early lore, right? These guys are- they can be super old. <laughs> In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. Who's Wakana? I don't remember who Wakana is. Oh, it's Yuito's mom. <laughs> Wait, we're going back in time? Did he say 2009? <laughs> so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day. So <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that they're working on a different calendar system. <laughs> Their 2009 is not our 2009 because ten of us going. A group that big. I can't handle the plot being that. <laughs> I can't handle the plot being that it's supposed to take place relatively recently <laughs> like relatively near future <laughs> so should we narrow down the amount of people that are going kasane this may be difficult to hear but i believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk that's not difficult to hear at all i don't want to be around any of you at all i don't want to be with you people the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed if we were to go with you it would needlessly increase the strain on Well, two of us can go then. <laughs> that sounds pretty easy. <laughs> no, I agree with Luca. <laughs> he has to go somewhere else. Oh, and he can't. Right. Telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. I think there's no telling what could happen going back in time, period. <laughs> I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself. This is just another this is just another excuse to be like, now you're gonna have to play a second playthrough, which I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not playing this game twice. I was never there was never a world where I was going to let's play both routes, but at early on in the game I was like, you know, maybe maybe I'll do the let's play of Kasane's route, then I'll go back and play Yuichi's route. That's dead. <laughs> the possibility of me doing that. The possibility of me revisiting this game. At least, maybe in 20 years. <laughs> maybe in 20 years when I play, when I don't have anything else to play. 11 years ago at the OS. Uh, they stopped. They stopped making video games in 2030 because of the uh, <laughs> the wars or whatever. <laughs> so I finally run out of games to play in in uh, 20 in 2045. <laughs> So I play this again. Maybe then I'll do Yuito's route. <laughs> Shut up, Haruka. Don't want to hear from you. Do it. <laughs> do what? Take me to mother. <laughs> Don't. Was that a necessary? Was it necessary to say that? We'll be waiting for you. You have to talk to the red strings. Of the Red Strings AIs. <laughs> uh, right there, they're gonna wait right there. <laughs> does time, does, does, is this one of those things where time moves relative, when you jump back, you, you're moved relative in the same, like you move, you jump back the same amount of time you jumped 
back. You jump forward the same amount of time you jumped back or vice versa. And so time moves, well, or if I get a jump, it's going to be like no time has passed. What is That's my, that was the question I was asking. <laughs> is time moving in both times is, is what, what, I, what, what I wanted to know. Oh, no. <laughs> do this. I just have to imagine well, in my mind. The old OSF hospital 11 years ago. I don't have my team, but I still have all my uh, powers. So that suggests that I'm probably not going to get into much combat here. All right. Uh, so this is the time. This is the time stream, I guess. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> that was a... Uh... <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm just, I'm glad we I'm glad we had to sit through an extra loading screen for that that set piece. It was it really set the mood. I we couldn't have just come straight here. I had to see some memories or whatever. This is the hospital, right? Information for patients. Today is October 4th, 2009. I jumped right to when I wanted. I sort of have a sense of the red strings now. I don't think I can use them repeatedly, though. Okay. All right. I tried to get. I. I was. I wanted to get a picture of one of those derp faces she pulled when in the, that cutscene, but I was too. I was too slow on the photo mode button. Who's this? Why can I talk to you? Why can I only talk to this guy? <laughs> it's. <laughs> that's. Ah, nice big hospital. <laughs> that's such a weird. That's such a, what was the point of that? We well, we <laughs> we've got all these NPCs here. Let's give one of them some dialogue. Let's give one of them something to say. <laughs> Either just do none at all, or go all out. Have them all say so. Go to board. Eh, 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 <laughs> Stuff like that. You know, give everybody something to say or give nobody something to say. It. Or give a few people something to say. It's literally one guy. One guy in this whole room that I can say anything to. It's crazy. <laughs> what about you? There's a partition here, so it's a different room. This is the hallway. <laughs> they don't have anything. <laughs> All right. What's, what's this? Why is there a hologram? Like this... This is, you can tell this is the past because they're, <laughs> these are 2009 holograms, <laughs> according to this game. <laughs> according to this game, we had hologram projections in 2009. They just weren't as uh, high fancy as they are, whatever the actual year of this game is. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's get it just in case. Uh, I probably won't use this one, but I might use this one. She'll probably make a dumber face. Or or we'll get a nice shot of her two-shot looking at her mom or whatever. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know what the what are what are we supposed to be communicating here? I know can she tell what's going on? She knows about the powers. You're Kasane. A super Kasane. <laughs> I... huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't. <laughs> Brains of past users of the red strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo red strings to transfer data across time to red strings users in the past. Transfer? So the. Hold on. <laughs> Let's try this one. This one. Oops. I forgot to turn the subtitles on. There we go. That one might be good. <laughs> data wasn't erased. But. How do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. <laughs> Is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. So it wasn't a vision. She doesn't have vision powers. She just got. <laughs> it felt like my head was split open and I fainted. She has 
Red String's powers? At the information I was given. Presumably. So I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. Is she also a design children? Do they make design children? Is everybody design children? Probably not, right? I'm sure you're sure. She's a regular person. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Yes. It is. <laughs> as long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunat Cool. Gate. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be cool if we just tell him. <laughs> Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the red strings are active, is my only chance to try it. <laughs> Kill Kasane instead. <laughs> What? No. All right. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Uh, I feel like we're playing with fire doing this. Find him? <laughs> we're playing hide and seek. It's all right. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Uh, okay. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients, but this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be all right. Then we'll go to the future. Uh, what about the kid Yuito? Yuito? You have another one? Oh, Yuito, wait! Uh, is that alarms going off or so Okay. <laughs> I'll keep you safe, Mother. Let's go after Yuito. All right, fine. Guess we have to freaking fight some enemies. I don't have my other people powers anymore. I don't have S uh, CS anymore. That means they're gonna want me to fight some things. But you know what? It's it's been a while since I've been Chess Kasane, <laughs> and they had like the game hasn't been expecting me to rely on my AI companions, which is a big part of the problem with. <laughs> with combat in this game, is relying on your AI companions, because they're useless. They're trying to assassinate her to prevent her from <laughs> going to the future, and... I uh, just pick that up. The mother's gonna die, but it's okay, because we got what she wanted us to take to the future. No, that's not us. That's not me, is it? <laughs> no, it is me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is our fault, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that this didn't happen otherwise. <laughs> We've just completely changed the future. Good job. <laughs> uh, probably move. Probably go back. Probably, probably move in the opposite direction. Same voice actor. <laughs> he doesn't even really sound younger. <laughs> uh, don't talk to him. Kasane, uh, I know they said Yuito seeing younger Yuito would be a problem. Kasane seeing younger Yuito might not be a big problem, but Kasane talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. <laughs> you see... That's not... That doesn't look the same. Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened to her? <laughs> Where'd she go? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is the scene? Right, go back. No matter what. Are you all right? Who? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. <laughs> oh, is that just false? <laughs> this is the reason that he ended up with Joe. <laughs> it's because she told him. And then they take him to Joe Sumeragi, and he's like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. 
And then he raises them as his own. <laughs> they haven't really explained how time travel works in this game so far. It seems like it's one world line that you're just moving back and forth on and it, it changes affect the future. Changes in the past affect the future. That's what it seems like. Who knows, maybe it's a loop. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> just do it all right i still think it's a bad idea to start bringing people from the past to the future but okay transfer power transfer to what does that mean transfer was that just lore <laughs> That was just them excusing gameplay. You don't have to excuse gameplay conveniences with lore. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary. Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? You're so... <laughs> Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. <sighs> but won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? No, she's a wretch drinks powers user. The weak, I am a user of the See, I said it already. <laughs> to hurry back to the hideout. Standby phase? Doesn't say standby phase. <laughs> I wanted that to say standby phase. And then we get the persona knockoff music. <laughs> Maybe after this cutscene. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? I mean, probably, maybe not human heads. A special bullet contained other particles. What? Well, figure out how much new Himuka actually understood about them. You no, know, the human heads kept them normal or not crazy or what? What was the point of the human heads? Are we just moving on from human heads? We're not going to bring that up again. Toketsu can do it. Managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Maybe it's bacteria. It most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. No. <laughs> There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. So the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon. So he brought our mom back from the future just so we could have a conversation without her. <laughs> That's so awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. Wait. Uh, it couldn't have said 2009, did it? Because <laughs> if that's tr if that was 2009 that we just went to, then that means that uh, all this stuff that they're talking about, Yuito, Kagro is way old. Kagro, when Kagro was on the moon, didn't he say that was like a thousand years ago? <laughs> That it's it's gotta be. They just must have said 2000. It, it must. I'm going with it's a different calendar if that said 2000. I'll check the footage. Standby phase. Here it is. Knock off Persona music time. <laughs> okay. Forgive the people on the moon for what they did. But if people are suffering from metamorphosis on the moon, too. Okay, good. There's not any. Uh, there's not any. Uh, bonding episodes with the for the Haruka twins so unfortunately no but I do remember the kind warm feeling I had in the days I spent with mother it's all because I met her the circumstances are unfortunate but who are you Kagro good Kagro if you're the only one that doesn't have a bonding okay 
I was going to be happy. I mean, I'm still happy that Kagro doesn't have a bonding episode, but <laughs> it would have been it would have been even much sweeter if literally everybody had one but him. Uh Right. Still not giving anybody gifts. Why would I do that? Sonic, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. Can't you just brain message me? <laughs> I know this is cruel of me to ask. But could you tell me where Naomi died? I don't remember. It's a few episodes ago. I about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. She didn't have any more recipes. <laughs> go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. <laughs> All right. Is this is this the bonding episode where we fight things, or is it just a walk walk and talk? We'll see. After this loading screen, <laughs> we'll find out. There we go. Nope, just a walk and talk. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the <laughs> I always keep forgetting that she. I put. I put cat ears on Kasane. <laughs> it must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. <laughs> Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Uh, if you want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. <laughs> I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. You gotta be a chef. Can you grow? I'm gonna... Start a garden. I'm gonna grow my own herbs. I'm gonna have my own herbs that nobody else has. <laughs> I'm gonna make. <laughs> I don't know what, what kind of food Gemma would make. Like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. Meat slabs. <laughs> Herbal meat slabs. <laughs> I don't know what they what they eat in this future. The path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up. Oh, he's going to be a politician. <laughs> Give it. I don't think you have politician in you. <laughs> I don't think you got it in you. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although, I don't care. A USF soldier can live a long life, and then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. <laughs> upon your vast experience to come up with do most people just die or something in combat or you mean you're gonna choose to age for no reason really <laughs> remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day that helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability uh, I was right the first time he's gonna be a chef still so many new things to try I was worried about what would happen after retirement but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world. Even I feel like I should start something new too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? No. Interesting. I'll think about it. Maybe if you do the dishes. <laughs> if, you, if you do, if you take care of the dishes, then I'll do it. <laughs> You move so efficiently in battle. We didn't have any battles. <laughs> there was no combat there. Thank you for the. Uh, no, I didn't. All right, cool, good. One snack set. <laughs> Is that a heal in between combats or something? Shut up. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Reply. This is group chat. The next one. This one. Yes, it is a group chat, and they're just talking to Kagero about his stupid lore shit. <laughs> uh, they added more stuff to the 
to the to the uh, training thing that I don't use. Uh, what is this? I already went to the pass. It's too late for those precautions. Okay, there we go. Done. Done. Is something wrong? I mean, I no, it's fine. Let's <laughs> let's move. To, let's move on to the next one. Oh, Kasane, perfect timing. There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate. So 200% of what? How can you be twice as right about something? It's 200% of the 0% that fortune tellers are usually accurate. Let's go get red together. We have a clairvoyant on our team. <laughs> Why do we need fortune tellers? Just ask Tagumi. But fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. What do you mean, doppel pull? <laughs> don't make me fight any doppelgangers. I already fought Kodama. I don't want to fight any more doppelgangers. Scientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. There's going to be trouble. I can tell there's going to be trouble. What's taking her so? <laughs> she didn't show up. It could be the worst thing imaginable. We go look for her. All right. Just, okay. <laughs> Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka. She looks mangry. Oh, Kasane. I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu was on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I don't remember that. Because <laughs> we took down Babe or whatever. We didn't really fight any of them or blow up the facility or anything. Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's <laughs> data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course if you saw her face in the other screenshot, you would have known better to Kasane. She was very mad. <laughs> she told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Okay. <laughs> Put a little more emotion in it, Kasane. <laughs> Who do they think they are? <laughs> when I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it, but sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. <laughs> not worthless at all. You've saved us countless... Alright, we get it. Now. Everybody in this game has to have some sort of imposter syndrome at some point. You're right. I can't let them get to me. They, they couldn't figure out how to write all the bonding episodes they wanted to shove in here, so they had to give every single character a part where they're like, I'm so insecure about who I am. approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh. Uh, it's too bad they're closed. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Who who has some insecurities they want to air out next? I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we got assault vision. Good. Who's next? <laughs> Uh, or is she? Right, she had one, I believe. It's your turn. Sound like I'm exaggerating a little. I don't care, Kasani. Shut up. Or she? Do you have a second? It's about this program. After the update, she seems unusually focused. Is she making a new program? She's playing video games. Whoa, <laughs> this is a video game. I told you. <laughs> Say you caught me, but this is what I always do. It's 
kind of pointless yelling at me over things like this anymore. Why was she, why did you think she was going to yell at him? It's not that simple. This is a defensive measure to ensure I don't waste my precious stamina and mental energy on pointless work. Okay. Defensive measure. <laughs> Got a minute? Did you come to scold me about my work ethic? <laughs> Not the time for jokes. Major General Fabuki might be okay. What happened? I haven't been able to reach him for the past few hours. The OSF hasn't been able to help. We're working in the dark. He's just using prostitutes again. This is the first time. The first time Haruka. You <laughs> yeah, she knows about the prostitutes. Haruka knows about the prostitutes too. I don't know why she's. I don't know why she's pretending that there's something weird. <laughs> Saving your only brother is a waste of your time? I'm saying my time shouldn't be used on a pointless... <laughs> Fine. Let me try putting it another way. Which do you think is better? Wasting a moment of your time on pointless work? Or losing him and regretting it for the rest of your life? Kasana, you've met him like three times. Right. <laughs> Haruka, send me Fabuki's last known location. Okay, hold on. There, I sent it. It was a while ago, so we should expand the search. Oh, he's back online. <laughs> she just went. Did she just leave? He's still there. With GPS. I'm doing it. I don't know if the with GPS part of that was necessary. Can you track your location? <laughs> I don't need to know that you're still using GPS. <laughs> you don't need to lay that part of the lore on me. Go after her. Arashi stopped. She's. It's Arashi. Rebel is blocking my path. <laughs> I'll need your power to move this. I'll send you the coordinates. All right. Well, it probably would have been faster if I had gone with you in the first place, but okay. <laughs> Fine. This means we get another loading screen. Thanks. Great. <laughs> I love these cutscenes, man. They, they, they. Since they're since they're not pre-rendered, <laughs> these uh, these are these are still images. Okay, we're we're doing stuff here, I guess. I can't. I have enemies. They put me in an arena. I can't move forward until I fight these enemies. But it's okay. I'm by myself, so they just die. This is pretty good. What was it? God damn it, why more? Why can't I use there it was, I wasn't close enough. The enemy is attacking with electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. I forgot to set up my things again. <laughs> I forgot to do that again. <laughs> Oh well. Can you burn, please? I probably need to level up. It's probably been... I'm probably leveled up. But I won't worry about it here. We don't have anything big to fight today. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll do it between episodes. Alright, is that it? Don't make me fight anymore, please. Moving on. Moving through. It doesn't matter, Haruka. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay, good. Doesn't look like these are arenas. Let's use the Hyper Vosley. You know, we could have used SAS. We could have both got here at the same time. <laughs> it would have been way easier. <sighs> okay, I saw a save point. I can't use the save point because there's enemies. <laughs> there's enemies nearby. It's fine. Don't worry about it. S still no, still no blocking. Good. Thank you. I've almost reached the coordinates. Copy that. I'm getting reports about it. What I was saying about the cutscenes earlier is even if you're just going from one set of picture-based cutscenes to another set of still image based cutscenes it's they're still rendered in the engine so they have to load the whole location <laughs> they have to load the set and everything so it takes just as much time to load a cutscene a bunch of still images 
in an area as it would to render the whole to load the whole area for wandering around in. I can just find an opening. Kasane, <laughs> what took you so long? Uh, I'm not a faster. I'm not fast as you. I'll save my questions for later. I can only use fast for a few seconds at a time. Yeah. Outside of outside of uh, gameplay, though, it seems like we can use SAS for SES. It's SA, I can't remember. We can use that for a lot longer. It looks like there was we were all we were all using uh, Kagero's invisibility power for like several minutes. They're not going to stop me. <sighs> Good things. Can we move on? No, we can't. <laughs> this time we have to fight them. Isn't that the other we're supposed to take down? Uh, all of them? Yes. This is. These are others that we're supposed to take down. Can't keep up with that other. Use FAS. Support me. Okay. Let's hurry up and take care of them. This area is particularly in danger of caving in. Useless. It's not going to cave in, Arashi. The, the developers aren't that stupid. They're stupid, but they're not that stupid. <laughs> Check. So she is worried. Said it. No. We can teleport and hyperspeed at the same time. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Let's do this. Oh man. Thanks for giving me the enemies. Thanks for giving me the Arashi based enemies in this stupid area. Thanks. I'm i I'm so happy. So if you gave me one of your stupid gimmick enemies <laughs> for this bonding episode. There's okay. It's a cutscene. It's like they can make me fight more enemies. Another round. Stop with the fucky combat arenas already. <laughs> Please. Let me let me play this game at my own goddamn pace. It's a JRPG. That's what they're for. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What happened? I was investigating the area when the extinction belt suddenly descended and jammed my transmissions. Yeah, it's the story he always tells when he goes to the brothel. Trapping me here. I knew I didn't need to come all this way. Honestly. <laughs> no, you still saved me. Well, I saved you. <laughs> I'm sorry to have bothered you, sis. It was me. Yeah, no kidding. Now I'm exhausted. All right, sorry. shut up. I guess this makes it the second time you saved me. Did something similar to this? Oh god, we don't have to go over it. <laughs> we don't need to. We don't need to litigate this. <laughs> Arashi threw a big tantrum using her power and told them they couldn't take me with them. But they still did. What? But it's obligatory. It's no use trying to change their mind. Now they took both of you. The OSF and death go hand in hand. Sometimes we need to accept the irrational. I might be able to handle that, but I knew full well that someone earnest like him wasn't equipped to deal with it. And those who aren't equipped to deal with it have a high chance of dying needlessly. So I thought I'd save everyone the trouble and stop him from being enlisted in the first place. <sighs> Although, in the end, I wasn't able to change anything. Just then why did he say that you saved him for? <laughs> my, entire life. my brother ended up enlisting in the OSF and somehow even managed to climb up to regiment commander. On the other hand, I got injured, got the top brass on my back, making me run PR. Just the worst. <laughs> that was why. Sorry. That was why she was running a Kodama's platoon. I did something really stupid. I used my hyper velocity and tore my limbs off when I hit a <laughs> off. <laughs> off. Don't worry, they fixed them right up. There's barely even a scar. But like you said, my pointless action didn't yield me anything. Like you, uh, no, you said that. Kasane didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> Neither of them were pointless to me. Kabuki? You risked your life. Okay, great. Great, mo uh, great moment. <laughs> Someone who could risk their life for another. The, you're the reason he rose the ranks so quick. Fun letters could be. 
letters. Oh, writing letters. <laughs> That's why he sends her letters all the time. <laughs> therapy treatments for your hands. <laughs> she just throws them in the trash. <laughs> really? <laughs> that helps me relax. It helps me remember the time you defended me. So it wasn't pointless. Huh. Is that it? Are we done here? No, we're still in cutscene world. We've got to have a now what did we all learn today moment. <laughs> Literally about today. <laughs> But that's okay. It's okay to do pointless things sometimes. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's all bad. It's fine doing something like this once in a while. It's a little embarrassing how it goes against everything I believe in, though. All right, that's great. And then we're done. All right, see you next week for... We're going to do the rest of these bonding episodes. Uh, really stretch this one out before I have to get back to the grind on Scarlet Nexus. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to.